for all your ultimate team coin needs, check out utcoinsforyou.com. There will be a link in the description. And if you use the code CHES, you can get yourself a 5% discount. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again with another episode of the Chelsea Career Mode here on Xbox One. We're into episode number 48 now. And you might be thinking, Chez, it's Wednesday. Why have we got a Career Mode episode? Well, I did ask on Monday if you guys wanted to see, uh, you know, a fifth episode per week throughout every single weekday, Monday through Friday, for Career Mode. So it's a trial episode for this Wednesday. So if uh, you do want to see as much Career Mode as possible throughout the week on the weekdays, then feel free to drop this video a like. And if it gets, let's say, let's be a little bit over optimistic, say 120 to 130 likes then I will definitely make sure that uh, a Wednesday career mode video is a regular option for you guys during the week. So uh, we're going to come into this one though. We've got three massive games as this bonus video gets off. We've got Tottenham at home rather in the first one. We've got PSG in the Champions League as the second game. And then the third one is even bigger. It's Arsenal away, our title rivals in the final game. But we go off to a great start in this Tottenham game. Picking up a penalty here as JT just nudges Sandro in the back with his chest. Kind of knocks his concentration enough for him to uh, kind of not really take much notice of where his arm is. Leaves his arm in the air. We get a penalty for Hamble and Loic Remy in dramatic fashion smashes it into the back of the net. Sends the keeper the wrong way and that's a fantastic penalty actually to get the accuracy just inside the post into the side netting. We take a very, very pleasing 1-0 lead early on in this game. But they came at me just after and uh, we were fortunate that uh, my poor defensive ability though. I tried to play it out to, uh, to Willian on the wing and they tried to play it to the right back that may be me that may be the game I'm not too sure but uh, fortunately eventually we are going to be able to just whack the ball clear and uh, I learnt from my mistakes and uh, we keep a clean sheet at this stage of the game but Willian lovely Ronaldo chops to get inside Danny Rose there just completely sends him lovely ball across I don't know how Hugo Lloris has kept that ball out and then the follow up hits Remy rather than flying into the back of the net so you can see here he is clearly offside but whether that had gone in if he wasn't there I don't know but the fact that Hugo Lloris had made that first save kind of oh, I just don't I don't know how he saved it and then William with another good shot this time unfortunately scuffs it wide of the far post and Remy not Remy and Lloris isn't called upon at all for that next chance but this game was just as uh, as competitive as you may have expected from a Chelsea Tottenham derby and uh, they were going to get themselves another chance here again trying to pass the ball out of the back a mistake from me but fortunately again they put the ball wide of the post this time it's Etienne Capou with the strike that flies just across goal and past that uh, past that far post had that taken the deflection off one of the defenders though it could have been a completely different story and I really do need to stop just passing the ball out of the back because it's really going to cause me more problems than it does uh, than it does anything else. But we almost get ourselves a second goal there. Oscar breaking free and Hugo Lloris does just enough to put him off. But the second half really wasn't as competitive as the first. But uh, I made a couple of changes. Brought on Lucas Piazzon and Kurt Zuma to freshen things up at the back for Oscar and John Terry. Unfortunately, Oscar's stamina, whilst he's an extremely good player, his stamina just isn't that good and he isn't able to, uh, to have the full effectiveness for the full 90 minutes. So I do have to keep changing him. And I uh, brought on Lucas Piazzon, but unfortunately for, for Tottenham, nothing else happened in the game. We were able to run out 1-0 winners. So we take a valuable three points from that game game and it's time for the first leg of the Champions League quarterfinals against PSG away from home in France and if we can get ourselves a result here or at least an away goal or two then that'll be very very good indeed but actually I'll be completely honest PSG this game was the hardest game I've played yet on FIFA 14 career mode they were so well organized it was ridiculous they weren't playing Ibra I don't know whether they've sold him on or whether he's injured or suspended but uh, I didn't play against Ibra in this game they were playing Cavani up top and uh, they came close there with uh, with Blaise Matuidi drawing a good save at the goalkeeper they made a defensive mistake though as organized as you want but uh, if you're going to make mistakes like that I'm going to try and punish you and unfortunately Sirigu was on hand to make a very very good save and he was on hand time and time again throughout this game he's a fantastic goalkeeper especially on career mode it was like playing uh, playing an OP Joe Hart online or something but he made another good save here this time from Luis Muriel again and uh, unfortunately we aren't able to go 1-0 up but we're going to whip the caller in up goes uh, up goes Luis Muriel again it gets uh, knocked out we're going to try and get on the second phase of things but we aren't able to do so they're going to catch me on the counter attack Anderson Cavani for some un some reason unbeknownst to me is on his own in my half and fortunately we do enough defensively to just 
forced him a little bit further wide with Danilo's run there and he isn't able to get the shot even on target and that is a complete let off as we head in at half time with the scores even at nil nil so I wanted to uh, improve for the second half but we didn't get off to the best of starts as you can see two minutes in they play the ball through to Ezequiel, Leve Ezequiel Lovetsi it's going to stand the ball up to the back post and the header isn't good enough to get it away from goal just heads it back across and it's something you should never do as a defender I was just hammering B trying to, uh, to get the ball away and unfortunately Danilo, maybe it was just because he was running so fast in one direction, couldn't get enough power back on it to get it across the goal. But you'll be able to see from the replay as well, watch Pear Tech as he goes down. He gets up with his back to the play. Now that's something that he's, he, oh, you would just not want from a from a, a goalkeeper. Look, you see he gets up with his back to the play, so he doesn't know where the ball is as he's turning around, can't save it. It's a big mistake from Pear Tech. And uh, I've kind of ignored a couple of big, big mistakes that he's made so far in this career mode and been quite uh, critical of Thibaut Courtois. But that was Czech's error there. I really do think he could have done a little bit better. But never mind. We'll have to uh, we'll have to push on and try and get ourselves back in the game if we possibly can. And Marco Royce came close to doing just that there. Flashing that shot wide of the far post with a shot across goal. And Thiago Motta breaking free. He's actually going to play a nice one too with, uh, with Edinson Cavani here. Get himself into the box. Decent first shot. Well saved by Czech. Decent second save from Czech. And then Cavani misses the follow-up. The third chance pokes it just wide. Perhaps Pet Czech with that double save there. Making up for the mistake he made in letting them go 1-0 up. And then Cavani. Again, that's his second massive chance. And the second one he really should have scored. But Danilo powers down the right-hand side. Absolutely annihilating Marquinhos. Stands the ball up. Marco Royce is there with the header. And we do get ourselves an away goal. And back in the tie overall at 1-1. And uh, Marco Royce is just telling everybody... To calm down we've got it under control they may be a very very organized team and hard to break down but Marco Royce is the man to get us back in the tie fantastic header beats Alex in the air and uh, you'll see from the second replay just arcs his head around Alex's shoulder there and uh, he's able to flick the ball back into the uh, into the center of the goal you'd have thought Sirigu might have saved that it wasn't particularly into the corner but uh, fortunately for us he wasn't able to do so and we are back in the tie and that, that away goal could be absolutely crucial as we head into the second round because uh, we have pushed through on away goals in previous uh, in previous Champions League ties. So Danilo again involved down the right-hand side. He's going to whip the ball across. Again trying to find Marco Royce. This time just wide of the post with that sneaky little near post finish. And uh, unfortunately we aren't able to build on that. But a one-all draw away in France against PSG isn't a result to be sniffed at or uh, snubbed rather. So uh, I'm pleased with that result. Especially considering how hard they were to play against. But we had to play a rotation-ish side against Arsenal. Which really kind of annoyed me. Considering they are right behind us in the Premier League. You'll be able to see as the table pops up on your screen in just a second. They sat behind us in second. Just four points behind. If they win this one, they'll be just one point behind. So I want to keep that gap. Keep a, a one game plus gap. Three point plus gap if I possibly can. But we didn't get off to the best of starts. Has to be said, Ramsey plays the ball through to Giroud. Lovely turn and a fantastic finish with that left foot across into the bottom corner. We do go 1-0 down after 25 minutes. And that really wasn't the start I wanted to make in this game because it is genuinely the biggest game we've had to play so far in the Premiership Arsenal away especially considering how close they are to us in the league so I really want to get back on level terms as quickly as I possibly could you can see that turn from Giroud again really really nice takes it in his stride and it's a fantastic finish Petacek can't do anything about that it's just purely purely very very accurate into that bottom corner but we were going to get ourselves back on level terms Oscar with great feet to get away from the left back Kieran Gibbs he's going to try and work an opportunity down the left hand side gets a nice step over plays the ball into the box to Lucas Piazza on and that first time finish is next level so you'll be able to see from the replays uh, Wojciech Szczesny is making his way across to the right hand side and just at the right time Piazza plays that ball kind of leaning back on the turn and uh, he isn't able to shift his body weight this replay shows it perfectly he isn't able to shift his body weight back across the other way not quite able to get there and we do get ourselves back on level terms and go in at half time at 1-1 one, one. so we're uh, looking okay so far there weren't that many opportunities in the first half I have to be completely honest so I was pleased to a certain extent to uh, not be being threatened that much at the back but I wanted to do more offensively in the second half if I possibly could and Lucas Piazza was involved here and if uh, if the defender hadn't hit that against the onrushing Oscar then that would have ended up in the back of the net and we would have gone 2-1 up but uh, they were very very fortunate not to, uh, to, be, or to be able to deflect that off Oscar 
and they're out for a goal kick. But they brought on their new signing, Karim Benzema. They recently brought him in from Bayern Munich in the January transfer window. And he was going to be involved in this move here. And they were, in fact, going to get themselves a 2-1 lead here. Mess Ertzel eventually going to take possession of the ball after letting it drift across the box. Plays the ball into Theo Walcott. Really unfortunate with the first effort. We're unfortunate with the fact that the second effort deflects off the goalkeeper back to Theo Walcott who's going to race away and stupidly he's like look come celebrate with me come celebrate with me come celebrate with me oh I apologise for scoring a goal I really, they really need to sort that out because there is no situation in any regard that Theo Walcott would apologise for scoring a goal to put Arsenal 2-1 up against Chelsea but uh, really unfortunate with the first day but Benzema with the second and we're just so unlucky with the fact that that rebounds off Courtois' heels and up perfectly for Theo Walcott to head it into the back of the net and they were actually going to make it three before the game was out they're going to confound our misery Lucas Podolski with the turn great feat to set up Theo Walcott for his second goal and again he's going to run away come celebrate come celebrate come celebrate and then apologise when he gets down to the corner flag. But uh, we are in fact going to take a defeat from the game against Arsenal. And that could be huge for our title chances. We really want to win the Premier League this year if we possibly can. Considering it really may be the last year we have at Chelsea. Before perhaps starting a new career mode. And coming back to this one later in the year. But as you can see. Nine games left in the season. We do still have a one point lead at the top of the table. So we need to make sure that we continue a run of good form ish in the next few games and try and bounce back from this defeat against Arsenal so do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind guys like I say if we can reach 120 130 I will make this uh, this Wednesday episode a regular feature for uh, for my schedule and uh, we'll have five episodes of career mode every single week but uh, like I say if you uh, if you missed yesterday's episode then there is an annotation on screen over that little snippet of gameplay you can see that to take you to that video if you want to subscribe to the channel and you'd like to do so there's a link in the description and an annotation on screen over the little subscribe emblem there and there's another link in the description to my twitter as well at chesnoy gaming so feel free to follow me over there as well plenty of social media stuff going on so that's all for today guys thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time